This is the second and last part of the video explaining the search feature in a .NET NUC website. Okay, so I'll, now let's try to do something. Let's go to the home page. I'm going to add one more word to this text and see if we can find that text, that new word that we have just entered by using the, the search box. So let's go to edit content. I'm just going to put space and I'll put my name here. And let's save this. And let's try to find, let, let's search for the term that I just have just entered. So it says, sorry, no results were found. But we know that the, the, the text is here. So what, what happened here? Very simple. Basically, we have just entered this term, so we have not given time yet for the search scheduler to kick in, to, to kick and, and re-index the website. So let me show you where the scheduler is set up. So let's have a look here under host schedule. If we have a look, it says search engine schedule will run every 30 minutes. So again, the, uh, the, the new word will be indexed only after a maximum of 30 minutes. So we have to wait a little bit until the, the word is indexed. But is there, again, you can change this frequency. I mean, if, if your site is, the, change, the, the content changes very, very frequent, you can reduce this number. If it changes just once a week, you may want to put uh, the, the schedule to run just once a day. And you can do that by clicking on the, in the edit of search engine. And you can uh, play around with the time lapse. Here we have 30 minutes. So we can put any any frequency that we want, maybe daily. And again, it depends on your needs. But here's where you can set up how frequent your content will be re-indexed by .NET Now, Now, let's say that, uh, again, the, the word that is that I put there is not coming up yet, but I want it to come up. I want it to come up right away. What can I do to do that? Very simple. We can go to host and there is an option that says search admin. <clears throat> and there's a, there is a, an option here that says reindex content. So by just clicking on it, the content was completely reindexed right away. So now if I try to search by my name here, cross fingers, and it should come up. Yes, it did come up. Okay, so again, if you want your content, the content is not indexed yet by, you know, maybe the schedule didn't run yet. So you always have the option to re-index that manually. Let's go back there and see a couple of other options under search admin. So basically, the first option that says here is maximum word length. So you can say that, you know what, just index words that are less than 50 characters. Minimal word length, again, don't index things like the, like a, uh, don't index uh, words less than four characters or three characters. Again, you can determine that by changing the minimal word length. You can also include or not common words. I don't have a list of what they call here common words. But uh, hopefully, well, maybe I can get that somewhere. But yeah, uh, you can include common words or not by checking this box. And you can also include numbers or not. Reindex content, I already covered that. Now, there's just one last point that I would like to cover before I call this done. Um, let me show you this. Let's go back to the home page. I'm going to do a very simple change here to this uh, content. The content, I again, I have added my name here, but I'm going to put a title for this content. If I go to the pull-down menu, the action menu, I can go to settings, and I will call this get it. Again, this is just a title uh, that, I'm, that I'm giving to this module in the home page. Again, if I try to, to search by Ederson, what will happen is that, yeah, it comes, 
but there's no title here. I just added the title, there's no title, so I could just assume, you know what, maybe, again, the schedule didn't run yet, so once it runs, the title will come up here. So let's have a look. Let's go to search admin, and let's re-index the content. Now let's search again. So I would have hoped that the, the new title that I have given to this module would come up here at the top, but it's not coming up, and it will not come up, because... Again, I may call this a bug, but uh, but it's not, it's just not coming up. So, whenever you you are faced with the situation that your search result is not bringing the information that you want, it may be that the, it couldn't find the search term, or in and you have tried to reindex, it's not coming up. So, there's just one last thing that you that you can do to to make sure to, to really force the reindex process to to start from scratch, you have to delete the contents of the search tables uh, in the database. And I have a little script to do that. I'll make it available in the video page. So here is the script that I'm going to run. It will basically delete all the contents of the search related tables in on that .book website. Again, you don't... Uh, and you have to use it carefully, but it will only delete the content of the search results. It will not delete any content in the website. So let's try to use this. I'm going to host SQL. And I'm going to run this delete. Execute. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's run this as a script. Perfect. So now what I'll do, what happened is, all the uh, indexing, the search of the website has been deleted. Not the tables, but just the table contents. Now I'm going to re-index the entire content again. And what I hope that will happen is that the title that I have set for that module will start to show up as well. So let's re-index this. And if I check for my name again and search, see, now it's coming up. See, get it? This is the title of the module that I have just changed. And the only way that I could get it in the search results was by deleting the content of the search tables and forcing the re-index to really re-index the entire content from scratch. So basically, this, is, this was a quick overview of the search capabilities in a, in a .tattoo website and the search features and how to go around some quote-unquote bugs that you may face here and there with with the, uh, when you try to use the search um, the search results in another video I'm going to cover the uh, the search tag in, the search tag in the skin but again this was basically an overview of the actual uh, feature uh, search feature of .net thank you very much bye